Welcome back to the latest edition of our Mic'd Up. And joining me tonight is Keisha Kelly, the CEO and founder of the Black College Experience. She's also a sideline reporter for SWAC, SIAC, among various other organizations. Thank you for joining me today, Keisha. All righty. Thank you so much for having me. So obviously we have some big news and announcements that we didn't want to hear to first come from, from SWAC. Um, and I just wanted to kind of clarify with you tonight, because a lot of people assumed it was canceled. It, that meant there was no football, but they actually came back to clarify that it was going to be postponed. So just talk to me a little bit about um, what that plan is actually looking like coming in uh, January of 2021 for SWAC football. You know, we all sat by idly waiting on that. Uh, of course, I was one of those people sitting by idly waiting. We know we had heard so much about it. And then one of them, you know, being in media, um, you, you pretty much know things are happening and we, we keep up with all of these things. So black college experience was idly sitting by waiting on that information. And so to clarify that it was not canceled, but it was postponed. So what happens is all fall sports are, were postponed. So of course that includes uh, football, which is mostly, you know, the biggest uh, uh, revenue generator, uh, women's cross country, women's uh, volleyball, and then women's soccer. So what happens is it's postponed until the spring. And what we're looking at as far as football season, they're looking at, you know, starting that training uh, around, I guess, like January. And I guess that means that I think they're going like eight weeks of training, which would actually push the actual season probably starting, I guess, like late February, uh, beginning of March. Um, and obviously, everyone, it's, it's football season, um, but this is for all SWAC sports. So from what you're hearing as of now, is that meaning the sports that are actually spring sports would be pushed back as well? From, from my understanding right now, because they're still trying to come up with a, a, with a contingent plan, um, they're also trying to come up with a competitive schedule for uh, those fall sports. So, you know, as far as those other sports that are, are, are getting there, we have started looking at the schedule. We start looking at all the other events that's going on at the same time. But being that, you know, right now the plan is directly focused on the fall sports. What does this mean for those looking to possibly go NFL and now that's in April typically? Um, do you see that being becoming a problem? Maybe kids are not going to continue their senior year because of that? And in the HBCU community, we often say the kids are very hungry. They're very determined. Um, and that's just the different mold that we have in our HBCU family. All of those kids are determined to do something. And even with, you know, the HBC, you, you know, the, the situation that just passed where they were actually supposed to have this combine strictly for the HBCU athletes. And you had 50 kids that were on the roster that were actually invited. And when COVID came, you know, that pretty much wiped everything out. So, you know, if they get the opportunities, you know, you have the, the normally in February, you have the combine. You know, you have the, um, you know, you have the Reese's, the senior, uh, the, the senior bowl and things like that. So we still have the capabilities. To, we still have a, those capabilities to stream if you need to send in tape or footage or whatever. So I don't think it's going to do anything as to where it's going to push them out of, you know, still being encouraged or still want to do anything. I just think, you know, we still have to monitor everything and go by what the CDC says. But I don't think it's going to, no, anyway, it's going to push them back now. Well, thank you so much. I know you're busy, so I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about this. It's, you know, it's been on everyone's mind, and we're just kind of playing it by ear, like you said. So it's really good to get your insight about what's going on. So thank you so much. Thank you.